Oh, shalom. The Holy Ghost does the most from coast to coast. Gia. So what's happening in this Shabbat family? Fam, family, mishpoka. Shalom, havrim, mishpoka. Yisrael. Hallelujah. Hua Elohim, judge, creator, king of everything. Humility. What is it? Um, just off the top of the knot. Humility for me, let's talk about pride, man's pride. Let's talk about money. <laughs> it's harder for the rich to get in and the camel to go through the eye of the needle. What does all this mean? And um, this is just what I know. Those who have more money tend to not relate to people that are like check the check, for instance. Um, why? Well, because ownership and money, and then it's linked to what they think is knowledge and running the world and building America. All that stuff fuels man's pride, pumps man up, to, and he exalts himself in his mind that he is somehow better than the next man. And although it may be true you're better at managing some corporation or you're better at welding steel together or you're better at um, lifting weights or you're better at hitting a baseball or you're better at slam dunking. What does that mean next to in my weakness, God is made strong? What does that mean next to the eternal word? How old are you again? You're like 30s, 40s, 20s. Next to Yahoo, a thousand years is as a day. I mean, man, you know, I said in the rap, I think keeping man guessing might be God's master plan. <laughs> we are. Nothing to God, and God is always putting us in our place. He talks about a fool, you know, a fool perishing or being a fool for Christ, laying down your entire life, leaning not to your understanding, denying self. Why deny self? Well, so that God can actually operate because yourself stands in the way of God operating because you just don't understand. You're not wise enough. Our, our wisdom is foolishness to God, right? That's the word. So there's no way walking in man's understanding or man's pride that you can really be wise to God. Wisdom would be laying down what you think you are and walking in the spirit of God. Okay. Now, am I a master at walking in the spirit? No, but that's where this is coming from is I do have an inkling, you know, I'm seeking understanding in this, uh, you know, Man's pride ain't trying to understand humility before Yah. I'll tell you that right now. Man's pride divides them from charity. In fact, you can do false charity where it's still all about yourself. You know, you see it in Hollywood all the time. Like, well, I gave this or I gave that and then you get tax break and you get blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Ultimately, you're not going to reap from walking in man's pride or evil or doing things with the evil. You know, all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the motivation of men. What What is the agenda? What is the motivation? You know, and then you have the numbers saying, you know, quantity over quality. And, and um, so man's pride, you know, we all struggle with it for sure. But I would say humility that I've come to know is being available for Yah, for Jesus, for Yeshua, for whatever he would have you do. He could have you die at the hand of a freaking idiot. You know, if that's his plan and then you just deny self in that respect. He can, he, there's any number of 
things that he could choose you to do that would require humility on your part. Humility, this is all coming to me. Humility is understanding too. Humility would understand that his way is higher and I just can't, you know, reconcile it to my flesh or my pride. Like he's doing something. And in order for you to connect with what he's doing, you have to deny yourself. It only makes sense. And that's why he's like, yo, in order to walk with Mashiach and in the Ruach, deny self because the flesh is at enmity with God Almighty. Just because he's got the eyes of the Lord are in every place. Are your eyes in every place? No. His thoughts are higher than ours. You know, and now it's not an excuse, but the thing is, is if you're trying to use an excuse, there goes that faulty motivation. Oh, I can't think like God. So just let me continue and sin. God forbid that is not outsmarting God. You're not going to outsmart God. It's not even wisdom that right. There's foolishness. If you're like his thoughts are higher than mine. So I'm just going to keep doing mine. He's not calling you to that. He's calling you to seek above all things to understand what he's doing and in the spirit of god you should be able to come up with a godly answer should you not it's the spirit of god so you know a lot of you know how we say and it's cliche in the church oh lord have your way and then we you know jet off in our direction our way we want to do what we want to do and we think it's funny but it's not funny it's not funny i feel the a good description is beating the flesh into submission man seven minutes goes by fast in the ruach hakodesh hallelujah god bless hallelujah hallelujah but is The frustrating thing for me is how easily man can just like mock the way or belittle the way, resist the way with a smile on his face. Like, oh, hallelujah, I'm jumping, praising the Lord right now, and now I'm doing my thing, hallelujah, and then just be laughing. And that's not the fear of the Lord. You know, I've lost 90% of my relationship for trying to guard the commands and hold down the fort and be stern and, and immovable and face like a flint. You know, immaturity reigns in the world, man. In immaturity, we can talk about that all day. That's a message right there, immaturity. The reason you don't want immaturity, though, I know immaturity is scoffing and mocking at that. Think, oh, you're so mature. Oh, you think so. You think you know everything. But the thing is, immaturity to walk in it is just not wisdom. It's not sowing nothing that's going to reap no kingdom. You know, immaturity um, is out there being perverse and, and just mocking the creator and and saying, well, he's God, I'm man, so I just have to be this way and blah, blah, blah. No. And in fact, if you look at your life, there's just one big consequence after another for walking in immaturity. My life right now, I feel like it's a flesh beaten submission, meaning I got to submit to my wife. I got to submit to what my, what my father's doing in the kids' life. I got to submit to to remembering where I came from and to you know, keep my peace and hold my mouth, bridle my tongue and, and to be used when it's time to be used, step out, be used in whose life he's called me to be used. I used to want to handpick only the people I want to be used in a certain people's life. No, I want to handpick who, who I'm trying to receive his message from. No. How about let go? And how about let God do what God trying to do? Otherwise, again, in all immaturity and man's pride, you trying to be God's God. And that don't never crack. <laughs> so again, retreat. 
Again, humble yourself. Again, hit your knees. Again, pray. Again, let God have his holy way. Okay?